All right, guys, it's an exciting day in Derby. The super stick is coming out of retirement. We're gonna go dredge a pond. You excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go do it. All right, so you guys that haven't seen this awesome project, I'll post the link in the description to the video. Uh, we built this thing out of 0490. Was it 490D, 490E? We'll call it 490 junk traco. And uh, yeah, it's an extension. It's awesome. The biggest pain in the butt to this thing is actually getting it on the traco. All right. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to talk it on there, so I'm going to go get the traco now. Handle broke off of. Somebody may have done that during a clearing job over the years. Basically, bypasses. Pressure. Oh, yeah. You getting all these struggles on camera? Oh, yeah! All right. Take that pressure on it. All right, guys, we got her all hooked up. It's time to see if she uh, still works. Basically, all I do is we got the dipper cylinder or the bucket cylinder on here. Basically disconnect that or connect that into my auxiliary hydraulics, which normally runs my thumb. I basically got, two, got it set up for two-way hydraulics. It's also set up for uh, zero pressure return for like a brush hog or something. But yeah, the uh, thumb cylinder is good and tight, so it stays up. I don't even have to chain it, at least it has in the past. Got that plugged in there. So I'll run that with my auxiliary controls and we should be good to go. Let's uh, lift this old girl up and see what happens. Alright guys, here we are on location. Um, this used to be an old rock quarry. My office is actually right there. That was the old scale house. Another gentleman owns this property now. But this used to be an old settlement pond is basically what it is. And it's all privately owned now. And it's relatively deep up there and it gets shallower down through here. He's just trying to get a few deep holes in here to use for basically a fishing location. We really don't know what's in the bottom of there. We're probably guessing a bunch of rock and stuff like that. So basically we're gonna go all the way down on this edge as far as we can till we get down in there and just throw the stuff back up on the bank and improve the fishing. The whole point of this is improve the fishing. I don't fish, but apparently this is important to improve fishing. So. Hey, we're so excited. Captain Cleman has got a boat. Stick around and you'll see it. He's even got a paddle to go with this we boat. Got a paddle. So I, just, I probably need to see if I got insurance on my GoPro. <laughs> Guys, we're up and rolling. I gotta get back into the swing of this thing here. The uh, that's a pretty deep hole there, actually. I know last time I shot this video, oh, that's a rock. It's like a treasure. 
Where's the fire ground? You never know what you're going to come up with. Last time I did this, everybody was like, oh my god, you need more counterweight on your machine. Well, I'm not going to lie, a little extra counterweight would be nice, but it's not necessary. You get yourself set up stable, get yourself situated. And uh, the machine's got enough weight to do what it needs to do. I mean, you're reaching out there far, and you're kind of dragging the load towards you. Like so. As you will see here, that's a full bucket. Any rock, nasty stuff, I can swing all the way around. Dump that out there a good ways. Never get myself off balance. Woo! Butt fly at me. <laughs> Grab both the windshield for this one. So, yeah, I mean, counterweight. A little bit extra counterweight wouldn't hurt anything, but it is not worth the effort for no more than I use this thing to uh, put counterweight on it. Man, that is a deep hole. Hole's probably 12 feet deep. Oh, I got something good. There's a rock. It's hard to tell them what we're going to pull out of this thing for the day's over. Fiddle my pond, trash hole. Probably all about the same. All right, let me get resituated. Should have worn my swimming trucks, I guess. No. We'll see. Uh, when, mm -hmm. when you flick the bucket, it's got mm -hmm. water in. The bucket stops with the forward momentum of the water continues on. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And that's how their perfect gets wet. Oh. No. Oh, physics. Yeah. Physics. All right.
Patrick's over on the super stick. He wants some shots from the water. Now we got this beautiful vessel. We're gonna find out if she's seaworthy. Yeah, there's already water in it, so that's probably not a good sign. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, easy, easy. All right. That water just kind of rushes in, huh? All right, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, here we go. I'll catch you in a sec. Oh, you're dirty. Hold on. Give me a little bath real quick. Here you go. Oh, we missed the shot. Oh, easy. Session with hitting the boat. That's what the Titanic felt like. There we go.
All right, guys, everything's going pretty good. We kind of got ourselves bound up here in this corner. And uh, Cleveland's got that point dug out. We need to keep on coming down this way. I'm going to have to make a mess out of a dozer, but the only option I got is trying to get some of this mud and soup uh, pushed out here out of the way. It's some really, really yummy stuff, let me tell you. All right, let's see if we can push this around. Right, guys we're kind of hitting our stride here we figured out that it's definitely worth our time to uh, take the bozer make a nice good stable uh, level pad so we got a good place to work off of i got all the mud pushed back so if we come down through here we should be in good shape Cleveland is going for a big old scoop but um yeah i need i'm gonna keep doing more of this i need to probably get a hold of old log and larry beam and uh, give me some good mats uh, to set out here and uh, help. The whole trick to that thing is just make sure you're sitting on good stable ground because you're at the limits of everything you're doing. So you need to not be worrying about the ground you're sitting on, but made a mess out of my dozer. But anyways, yeah, we're uh, we're trucking along pretty good. I'm gonna let Clem and dig here for a little bit while I go do a few other things, and we'll come back and check on them. Alrighty guys, I missed Cleman dumping, Captain Cleman that is, dumping the last uh, bucket full of dirt. But uh, we were successful in our mission. We got what we wanted to accomplished. Uh, from here out was about, it started off about six feet deep and it came up to nothing. That's about 14 feet deep on out. And I guess he wanted to be able to throw fish in the, I don't know. I don't know anything about fishing. So I'm just talking at my butt right now. But uh, yeah. He's happy, he's a fisherman, so I guess we did what we're supposed to. But there's all the goo that come out of there. We'll let that sit there. And that may sit there till next spring. Once it dries up, we'll uh, smear it over the top of everything here. 
Hey, make her look pretty and get some grass on it. That'll probably be a spring project because I don't see it drying out this fall. And uh, yeah, we'll hit on that at some point. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll catch you on the next one.